Okay, we're in Orleans Township Cemetery. We thought we'd stop by. We were camped not too far from here. Orleans, Orleans, uh, was an old uh, phosphate mining community, tent community. Lasted for maybe 20 years, if that. Um, my understanding, although I don't know of any extant ruins to support it, uh, is that there were uh, the post office, a schoolhouse, etc. The mine is behind us. There's another mine. Oh my gosh, there's another mine probably 10, 12 miles down the road. Um, so we're in a mining area, phosphate mining area. Also, of course, this would have been a turpentine area. The lumber areas, the typical lumber areas um, that the northerners came down in search of were cypress. Those are near the rivers. Anywhere we have the river overflowing, the swamps, um, that's where you'd find uh, the, the, uh, the logging communities more, more so than here. Although they did take a lot of pine timber out of here they also used it for turpentine. When the turpentine was, uh, when the trees were sat, sucked uh, free of the sap, when all the sap was taken out of them, they became lumber. So there were lumber communities here as well. Um, <clears throat> this is a marker that was placed since that time. It's in memorial of the era of the township, 1890 to 1912. So I guess that's more like yeah, that's 20 years. Um, and there are, as in th typical uh, forest cemetery, there are a lot of unmarked graves here. There's also, you know, plenty of marked graves. There's a few marked graves, but there's, there's others that aren't. Um, we have a, what we would affectionately call a carpet bag group. Um, and then we have some other people, families. We're just going to go take a look at that right now. And see the... I have to check my notes and my, my initial album, but I think this might be new. This uh, Isaac Blackman. He apparently served during the war. This looks like this would have been his original gravestone. But then if you can, if you can show a certain number of records that someone served in the military, whichever branch or, I mean, whichever war or at whatever time, then the government, our present government will, will set you up with a headstone. So, here this little fellow was six years old. Somebody loved him a lot. Give him that really nice headstone. Um, the headstones are very interesting and very cool, but what's even more unique is the other people that are buried here that are unmarked. It was an always have to keep in mind with these forest cemeteries in this area and even further north but in this area is that any uh, anyone who was black or anyone who would have been um, considered a, a, a less than citizen would be buried outside of this plot they'd be buried in the same rough, rough roughly the same ground but they would have been buried outside of these uh, this ground. They would not have been buried next to these people, typically, usually. So, unfortunate in our in our context, but just the way it was that they saw it back in those days. So, even though there aren't any markers, we're walking right now on ground that contains the remains of people who lived and worked here, went to school here, made their lives for over 20 years here. So, it's pretty cool. Orleans Township Cemetery.